Welcome everyone, I am David and I am going to show you MC Command Center 2022. Now, a lady named Jess uh, Jessica Winstead previously did this, but her version was 2.7 and the game has really expanded and changed since, so I'll show you the changes and how it's really gone and it's really expanded and gotten a lot more detailed ever since. So here we go. First of all, you go to MC, you type in MC Command Center in the Google search box. That's what I did. And click here at MC Command Center. And you, you're, brought, you're brought to this screen. Then you go to downloads and you download this version right here, the most recent version, 2022 3.2, and there are 14, there's two things you have to download. One is the, is the, uh, you, is the Woohoo version, the other is the regular version, the package version. And that, so you go to that version and 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 here are all the versions that that you'll get. You'll get MC Command Center, MC Career, MC Cast, MC Cheats, MC Cleaner, MC Clubs, MC Control, MC Dresser, MC Jedcom. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. MC Occult, MC Population, MC Pregnancy, MC Tuner, and MC Woohoo, which runs separate from that. You have to download that one separately and that's why I just I, I just found that out in the in the last second before that anyway I will show you how to and I'll show you all that in my next video welcome back I'm now in the game and I'm going to show you what this program has to offer first of all in the upper right hand corner you see that blue card that's blue because because that's blue that means that we are up to date if that would be orange that means that we would be not up to date but we are I have the most recent program installed most recent version installed that's 3.2 obviously you saw that in my most re in my earlier thing in my earlier broadcast and here is what is in it, and there is a lot. Okay, first of all, let's go to MC Settings, Autosave. Now, this is a good one. This one, you can not choose how often you want to save the program your game automatically. This is good if you if your game is having trouble sa saving. Like, just save everything every so often, because if you lose a program it's you're you have to go you you're like dead meat almost it's it's it it is very costly if you lose progress in your game i've had that happen before it is not good and you can choose by auto save slot number and you can choose what number you want you can choose the maximum save slot number how many you want to save at a time the interval amount how how many times, like for example, if you want to save every like three days versus every three hours versus every three sim hours, that's what that is. And that is every interval type. That's what that means. And then I don't know what that dialog box is, that, so I'm not going to really go in, into that because I really can't. And, but anyway, uh, but in order to do that, you have to use the autosave, and that is... And that is at the very bottom of the of the dial of this feature at that point. Now, next one, gameplay settings. This is interesting too. Adopt neglected child. Like if you have a child that I, I never use this one, but if you have a adopted a child that's neglected, that you can have the and. You can have the game take it away, or, or it, by social, ser social services, 
if you want or, or whatever you want to do but I don't use that one that that's character values difficulty that I don't use that one that that's fame difficulty I don't use that one either game time speed that show that shows how how fast you want the game to go obviously maximum household size that's you want to keep that at eight because that's the maximum for for the uh, for the game. But if you keep that, but if you go above eight, you have to put extra ones in. The uh, you have to go through the cat through cast, or, or excuse me, you can't go through cast in order. To, you have to go through add or remove sims inside the game. That that is important to know there. Mode of decay. That's how how fast you want your sims to gain or lo or lose their, their like their like uh, hunger or thirst or and then skill uh, sims uh, pause on zone that that's if you want if you want the game to pause right when you get in sometimes I use that sometimes I don't sims die on a lot. Now, Jessica did go into this one. If you enable Sims, and you can enable the with the Sims, you know, and the the Reaper will not will only show up if they're wandering around. Around, they'll not, they'll just turn to uh, they'll just turn to go ghost. The Reaper will show up if they are on the lot. If they are wandering. Around, They'll just turn into ghosts. I don't use that one. I don't mess with that one. I don't really get it that much. Even though it's enabled, as you can see, that's the default. I, I don't mess with it. Anyway. Next one down there. Maximum rename uh, household size. Household size. Again. Eight is the... Is the default max, but if you want to go higher, you have to add them through the through the game because the cast will only hold eight. Rename length, I think that's 14. I've been trying to to make some longer names too with some that I came up with. Oh, I, I already went through those anyway, but anyway. But anyway, that's all that is. Skill, skill adjust, adjustments. Let's go through these other ones I haven't gone through. Sorry, guys. I, I just lost my place there. Uh, skill, skill difficulty adjustment. I don't even use that one. Skill freeze pro, uh, progressive. I don't use that. I, I don't use, use random aging. I, that just lets the computer decide how old you want the your sims to start with I don't I think I used that once and didn't like it so there's that one money settings this is an interesting one too allow a child to pay bills that's if you want your kids to pay to pay the bills on their own if you want your kids to to let to pay bills for the household you can do that apartment bill percent that's the percent you want your if you're living in an apartment, you can set you can set this to like how how the how high the uh, rent goes if it's unpaid. And let me and I just made this, let me do this. It's unpaid, so let's go back in here for the next one and. And money settings and auto pay bills. This is if you keep on forgetting to pay bills, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Change bill percent. That's if you want to change the uh, if you want want to change the amount. Like if you want it to double your amount, then you go a hundred. If you want it. Change the by 10%. Just go 10. That and that is how that works. 
inheritance sim type. This is who gets the who gets the assets of any sim that has died. I think that's self-explanatory. As is pay child support. That's if you want your if you want your elders to pay child support or to uh, pay child support if if someone's is separated or divorced they they can uh, pay child support for and for the kids that they have so that so that's how that that is notification console settings change sim menu order I never use that one I I like to keep things as they are logging settings I don't know much about that one notification settings these are the notifications you'll get throughout the game if you want age aging death notifications this is the blue things that I was talking about in, in the upper right hand corner this is what you get this is this controls what you see there while you're in the game like show, change or excuse me save show save and show age up notifications excuse me I tongue got tied that's if you want your if you want the game to show when when a sim is aged up show death notifications that's if you want want to show if the sim has died NPC birthday notifications that's if you're not controlling someone but you want you still want to see that they're that they're having a birthday pretty soon just enable that one that that's what that means and show pet death notifications if you want to show a, if your pet is dead or dying that's what you do there MC population notifications show empty house notifications this one is interesting because the game sometimes will put will put uh, random household random house households into houses that you're not using and to to uh, minimize this put this at at uh, zip at zero uh, put this at zero or um, just or excuse me do that, or, or excuse me if, if you want to show you see if, if there's an empty house just show this but the thing is if if you show this then that house is up for sale all the assets are gone show new moving notifications that's if you want to show the sim has moved so that's how that one works show version update notifications that's big because as I mentioned in the last one in the last in my last video the ver this is not the first and I'm sure it will not be the last version of the as these games come keep coming out but if you want to show that it the uh, a, a version that that's new keep that one enabled and that'll keep you up to speed on that phone texts this is this controls what texture sims get like uh, all like set to default that's the default all text that's if you want that if you want all all your text to come in like like if you want like all the invite invitations to come in festival test if you want text if you want them to tell you just about festivals that are up then go with that one or no text that's if you want if you if you think that's uh, it's just too bothersome and you don't want to receive them go with that one that that's how that works show menu settings bypass specific menus now this is one that I haven't really used a whole lot If you want to bypass relationships, skip this one. Sim commands, this one. Modify and cast, and this one. This one. I had never seen this one, but it looks like it's a bit. It's. It doesn't look good. I. I wouldn't use it. This. And it has all the different. Uh, it has all the different modules of this program that you have. You can 
hide these if you want, but I would not use this because it really it really hides you from the different things. Cheats men menu. I'm going to show you this in a, in a minute, but in moment uh, in the next setting setting, but if you this is at the mailbox. This will determine if you wanted to show the cheats menu at the mailbox, like all the cheats, all with the shift key. That's if you shift and click the the sim. That that's that's your third way. I'll show you that momentarily, or none. That, but again, I wouldn't mess with that. It it's not a good idea because that's what this is made for. Show no menu. I don't use this. I, because it it's it's weird. I, I mean, I just plain don't use it hands down. It it the default is none, as you can see. And show sim menu. Th this is all the all the sims again. I would not do that. I wouldn't do this because this will hide the men the uh, menus that I'm about to show you in going forward. So. And that's how that works. That just shows you relationship settings. This is this actually is interesting too. This allow team parenting. This allow this is allow this if you want your teens to become if if you will allow them to act as parents to, to your kid your kids. Like if you want have a teen and a child. If you, if you want them to like act as your parent, if if, if your parents are, are at work, then that then that's how that works. Auto relationship settings. The bypass. Uh, this. It, I don't really get this one. One that this one is. It, I've never used this one. So relationship decay percentage. That this is how much you you want this to. Uh, Decay over time, friendship, difficulty, adjustment, same ordeal, relationship calling, this is how fast you want your your uh, relationships to uh, to go go out, uh, to diffuse over time, to decrease o o over time, romantic romantic decay percentage, same ordeal. That is how that works. Say set age spans or duration. This is another good one. I've used this one before too. It's a, it's really only three different things. Cat dog, uh, cat dog human. For a human, that's like if you, it has all the different uh, age groups. Like if you want your baby to become, if you want, if you want your baby to become, if you if you want your baby to become to age up at age two that you leave that one as it is right there that's the default setting there and and it's it goes on like that it it's the same thing there age span duration oh, yeah yeah that that's why I just went through and but that's that's out there and that is that and anyway but that that's another interesting one. I've used that one quite a bit. So we're age span duration, and I think that is all for for that one. So now let's go to the next branch or MC Cast. This is what you would do and create a sim. Apply a parent's template. If you set a template for a sim, you can set that one up. You can set it up in here. And allow allow that to go straight to that to that one Im immediately. A uh, auto set ce celebrity walk style. I don't use the celebrity as much, but if you care to do that and you want to set a different walk style as a celebrity than you would as a regular as a regular sim, go for it. Change walk style and age up again. If you want to do that, fine. If you don't, that's that's fine too. But that is your 
That is your prerogative. Define a parent's template. That that's that's just as as it says. That that's define the parent's template as it as you want it to be. Ex exclude traits. I never saw that. If you want traits to be excluded in person, it doesn't look good. I wouldn't do this one. I, it didn't look good. I, I would not do this one. A fit fat lim female and male fit fat limit r limits. When Jessica, or Jess as she's called, did this four years ago, she would, was a little... And she was laughing at this a little bit, like... This shows how, this shows the weight, the estimated weight of your sim, but you can actually do do this, but it, it's kind of weird. And it's a female and, and for the male as well. So that's how that works. Monitor physique. Again, she was a little, again, Jess was a little weird on this one. I, as you can see, it, the default is disabled, but if you want to enable it, then go for it. But that enables the fit fat limits that I, that I would, that both myself and Jessica Linstead would really guard against. That we don't, that both, both Jess and I do not recommend or, or we don't know a whole lot about. Offspring. This is an interesting one too. Use parent physical attributes. This is if you want your child to get to inherit traits from your parents, from their parents. Parent values by uh, variance percent. How? How much do you want your? The, it, it, this one doesn't look good. I wouldn't do this. And by the way, you see it as you change things. I didn't make a change, but if you make a change, then it'll be an, an orange box. But you see that there's a blue box there. That's because I made a change. That's because I, I went to something and did not change it. So... That is how that works. Exclude traits, female fit, 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 fat limits, exclude traits, modern physique, offspring, set default walk style, and that's just as it is, and that's the end of that one, so we'll go into the next, on to the next one. And that is MC Career. I don't use this a lot because I, unlike some people, because because that you have to be on on uh, site in order to send your Sims to work. I don't put my Sims in the workplace a whole lot. I, I probably have a maybe 20, 30 percent. I mean, you can if you want, but if you but if you miss work, it. It re it shows a an, an annoying briefcase at the bottom where, during your sim your sims work hours. It is so an it's annoying to me to me at least. Meaning they're missing work and will not get paid. But if you want your sims to to be employed, go for it. This one this auto employment is seventy point eight. But that's not a saying that I set. Career difficulty adjustment. I don't even use that one. I wouldn't go to that one. Children quit school. This is if you want your kids to quit school. I would... I mean, if you want to do it, fine. If you don't, then that's fine too. I have that disabled as well. Elder employment range. That's... Four, 40, 40 and a half. That's the and that is the amount that you would want your your Sims who are employees to 
excuse me, elders to be employed. If Bill Kerr inactive only, disabled, I would I would not do do this because this when this is is enabled, it will or when the, this is disabled, it'll bypass only the active sim household. I, I, I don't know much about this. I don't go in, into this one very much. Secret, so, so secret society decayed to per percent. I never heard of this one. I don't know about it. It shows you how much this game has grown. I I had I just do not know much about it. It here it it's 100 on a scale of negative 100 to positive to two, uh, negative 100 to two, or 100 to 200, I think is the scale. I don't even know about this. Again, I'm not. Uh, that's not one I go into a whole lot either. And and it shows because I didn't know much about that. So that so that's how that one works. In fact, a lot of this branch is one that I don't know a lot. Teens quit school. That. Let me see if I'm in the right place. Oh, here we go. School homework progression. This is. This shows. This shows how fast you want your kids to do their homework. I I've never messed with this. I think it sounds neat, but if you want it, if you want your kids to do their homework quickly, go for it. If not, then then uh, just leave it as is. The minimum value is negative three to maximum value of, of fifty. It. That sounds like a strange one. Again, I'd never seen that one. Again, it shows you how much this game has grown and how Jessica did not it was unable to do this because she because this was not around when she was that when she did this five years ago. In two thousand and seventeen. University difficulty adjustment. This is the same principle, but for the university. That range is negative 50 to a maximum value of 10. Again, if you want your, if you want to change how difficult your, that is, go for it. If not, you can go. If not, just leave it as is. But that is again your prerogative. I've never done that that but that but that is just me. University homework progression, same thing as the as the other one. I looking at the other at the school homework, I would assume this would be the the same the same principle and it is. Negative three to fifty, it is basically the same exact thing. If you do negative two, it means it's a it's two hundred percent slower, etc. It twenty is about one eighth. It I mean, if you read these, then it then it, oh it'll be it'll explain these a little bit more than I can because some of these I've never gone into. Some of these I didn't even know existed. Some I'm not even interested in. But that clean or that clears up MC Clear. Now let's go to MC Cleaner, and this is exactly what it sounds like. It it cleans up the ones you the stuff you don't want. I don't know what detail logging is, but if you want your like item cleaner that. Like clean item genders, like the these. This just removes item. Like sink, if you want your 
your Sims wearing certain glasses, sync the glasses that you want them to wear. Clean items, like, it's basically self-explanatory according to those. Neighborhood Cleaner. This is Bypass Family Ghosts. That... That... Enables it. This will kill, will delete all the cold sims process. It won't delete them, but it, but it, it won't delete them if they're active. But if but if they're inactive, it will delete them. I have that enabled, but that is the default. I don't mess with it. You can if you want. It is once again your prerogative. It, it makes no difference. I mean, this is this is a user-friendly game. Sync household names. This one is interesting. Disabled here. It says disabled here. And I... And I... Here's why I disabled this. Because... If you enable this, and you marry, a, and you uh, wed two sims, obviously with different names, and they change names on, in, a, in a module I'll get to later on, that, every so often, it will change the name of the household, and if, if, the, if the household has a different name than what you specified, it will t change to that name without your knowledge. I don't like that. I had that happen before, and this, and that is why I played the BF, the BFF, and the Rumi's household at the very beginning because the default is is any played Sims. So if any, so if you play them, unless you change it, then then it won't mess with them. But if you don't play them, it'll change them right then and then. It'll change them when the time comes. But be very careful with that. That is something I would be very wary of. I would be very cautious around that. And that is our MC Cleaner, MC Clubs. Again, this is not one I know a lot about, but I will get to that. Bypass played households. Like I just said, this is where what what I just said about the about the uh, about the game bypassing the played households by default. This is what has to be enabled in order for that to bypass those played households for that to for those for those settings not to apply to households that have been played. So that's an important one for that. If you want, if you have if for example if you have a, a household that has different if you have a household that is mar that has that is that just married, you just wed, and they mar and they and then two year salary comes or whenever you have that set to, you can change that. I'll get to that later on. Then you then that will change automatically unless you have this very setting enabled. That is why I have it enabled. It'll change automatically unless, unless that's enabled. So do not, so I would not disable that. Let's move on. Club member account. This is if you wanted, I don't do a lot of clubs, but if you want to have more clubs, if you want to have expanded clubs, then you can. But the game doesn't like 
having more than eight members in a club. So I so I would mess with this. It makes it a whole lot more difficult. I think you have to add them separately if you want that to if you want them to do that. It because it it's just it that's just the way the game works. Monitor club members. This is this on schedule nights the uh, the uh, clubs will be filled with member with uh, mer members that are eligible Sims if there if there are vacancies. Oh, the, oh, what that does is if you have like if your vac if your capacity is eight eight but you only have six, it'll automatically fill the the remaining two slots. I wouldn't do that. That sound that. That does not sound like my cup of tea. Pardon the slang. I mean, that's not what I would like there to, because because if you want there's to if you want your game to be the way you want you want it to, that's not the way to do it. Or that that's a that will actually defy that 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 let gives the computer more access to it. Open members. This is how many will be left if that how many will be left open if that is open. For example, if you have the same amount that you have that you have that I just specified like six out of eight and you have then it'll fill as rank two it'll this setting that I have up here that says one if you have that setting up there it'll fill one spot but one spot by default will be left open again it's again if you want to do this I would match that with the with the amount of open slots that's what the because it gives you less control if you don't. Now, now to dresser. This is all clothing, as you might have guessed. Age on, on age up. Let's see here. Run dress, run dresser cleanup. This is if you want to change the the Sims clothing if when they age up. So that's what that means. Automatically clean bathing outfits. That that sounds self-explanatory. Facial hair settings. Facial. This is how often you want people to have. This sounds interesting too. I may even change this too. I'm I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add this one here. I'm gonna Add these because I want this one to have that as well. Facial percents, teen percent. I'm going to change this to twenty. 
20, this will give 20% of my team's facial hair. As a teen, I had facial hair myself. And I'm going to give 50% on that. And let's go to 50% there. Okay, and we're done there. So we just change there. Now, normally, even uh, Jess says that that there should be a box. That come. I didn't see that box in there, but it may come when. It, I guess that's because it didn't require a restart. So that apparently that did not require a restart, but some will. And if you see that, then we would have to restart for those to take effect, but that was not one of them, apparently. Makeup settings. I don't like a lot of makeup on, on my... Sim, so, so we're going to leave that disabled. Copy face makeup, makeup ages, makeup genders... Make about fits. I'm going to give a child that because mostly that's going to go to the women, to the girls. And that's the way it is. Percent used custom skin tone. Now on December now December seventh of two thousand twenty, this game went through a a massive update. It was until this past until this past May, it was the most it was the biggest update I had ever seen. They added 144 skin tones of their own and also added the ability to add your own if you wanted to. That's what the, the latter is what this is. If you want some, if you want a homeless sim to generate a Define custom skin tone that you've created. Set this up. I haven't made enough, so I'm not going to change that as it is. But that's how, the way you use that. MC Occult. Now, this one has... Gain, this one... I have n this one has added a few things since then since Jess's version as well it added mer 
mermaids, spellcasters, and just recently, werewolves, although you don't see those here. I guess, I guess it, those might be added in, in the next update. I'm not sure when that's going to be. But if you, but you can, but you can update, or you, you can uh, decide how many aliens or how many, how many of each you want, or if you want any at all. Sometimes I want, sometimes I want a lot of these, or, or, or actually, actually sometimes I don't want a lot of these, but I did make a few in, in a recent household, I did make a household with, with some spellcasters I've never done. And vampires. Again, maximum vampires. Same ordeal. Risky vampirism. I've got no idea what that is. It... It sounds weird. I do not. I, I don't know what that would. I, I don't like that. Aging maximum. Vampires are normally, or if they stop aging at a specific age. Oh, what that this determines is a vamp. Someone who's a vampire will never become an adult. It will never become. An age group older than 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 the one you specify here. I don't mess with this. Okay, now we're getting good here. MC population. Moving settings. Allow homeless move in. This is if you want like homeless people to move into your place. I don't, in, into your worlds. Homeless apartment percent. This is the apartment percent that this determines. The household that will be allowed to move into empty apartments. Zero for apartments to be used. Zero, zero for, or a hundred for apartments to be freely used. It's a hundred. It's a hundred for me because I want mine to be freely used. It is, but you can do what you want with that. Move out elders. This when some age is up to an elder, you can move them out. Now just. Focused on the, and she touched on this in 2017. You can, it's like a, a like a retirement place. You can move them out on their own, and they they can join their own little place and and be on their own if you want them to. Move out single sims if you have some someone who's. When doing random move in to home lots, eligible single sims into random ho random homes before moving in homeless sims. I don't have that enabled. I, it's a little too complex for me. Bypass, bypass, or move, or, or move teams as dependents. When enabled, teens are. Treated as dependents, they'll not move out when they are single. When they're single sims in the house, and they, so they can they can actually become caregivers. Like if there's a if there's a child on the in the on the lot, they can take care of the kid. If it, if there's another if there's some. If uh, there's just a team out there, since the el since they're the only one left in the house, bypass plate households. This is if you don't if you don't want the 
game messing with the Sims that you, the households you've played. I do, I do, the default is in it, to enable it. I have it that way. That's because I, because I want them to, I want this to play out the way I, I mean, it's supposed to be the way you want to. It's, it's called customization. But you can play it the way you want. It's up to you. Maximum. Maximum household pets. The default is. The default. There's really a mix and match of four of uh, of eight. Like if you have six households, you can have as many as two pets. Anything that adds up to eight. But if you only want one pet and you have fewer than seven, that's what you. That is what you want to do. But a specific number can prevent that from filling up with strays because there are strays in this game. But they do have to exist as the game, as the game does say. So next, population settings. This 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 just shows how much of each percent of each age group is in each uh, built is in each building. Now here's one that has changed. Cast custom gender settings. Let me see what that is. If you have if you have a male sim with a female physique with a female frame you click on that last one because that's labeled as a custom gender that was just added within the last year butler age that's your that shows your the age of a butler if you hire one Anyway, that's how that one works there. Enable or disable bar nights. I neither and ne neither myself nor Jess really got into this. Jess said that in her in her video four years ago and it and I kind of agree with her she she has she's pretty good she's really good she's I agree with her probably with her statement so that's all that is let's go back in here and Lot, uh, random lot challenges. Now this is lot challenges apply to lot type. That's if you wanted to active home lot only all lots. This saying random challenges will be lot to this doesn't seem like with uh, with what's already in the game, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Ch 
challenge lot type. Sim, every sim day, every sim hour. I, w I wouldn't mess with that because that seems like it's its own maximum ch or ma maximum challenge frequency. That's how many challenges you want the max to have before. Note the alarm for this will reset when the game reloads and the and the executive alarm is controlled by EA's queuing system so there will not be exact timing. So that means if you alter this, then it may throw the game off. So I wouldn't mess with that. That's what that that's what that's saying. And other settings. This is just like it sounds like, it sounds like bypass sim calling. Do you want your sims to be called? If you do, then enable this. If not, then keep that disabled. It is by default. Bypass clown walk by. I don't get that one. I, no reaper stalking. Again, I don't. I don't mess with that one either. Randomized visiting sims. That's if you want random visitors walking by. But I, I want to keep the ones that I, that I have because it's disable immoral sims. I wouldn't do this because sometimes, because sometimes, like if there's someone that's living by themselves, themselves, and that sim dies, everything in that house gets sold. So I would not I would not enable that. So Maximum Simpson zone. That's how many you want in in your on your specified lot. The maximum is 20, although the maximum on the for one household is 8. But anyway, that's how that works. And let's go back into this. I think we're coming to the end of this one, but we still have two more modules to go to go through. Adjust him's on lot. I don't know much about that anyway so let's go on to the next one next one and this one this is one that I really had to think of, I really had trouble figuring out or not not really fig figuring out but I mean or these next two I had yeah, these next two, I had trouble deciphering. I thought one was in the one that's ahead, but it's in the one that's one that's second to next. We have three more to go, starting with MC pregnancy, adoption settings. This is adoption ages, like. If you, th these are the ages for random adoptions. Babies, children, teens are valid choices. So, you, if you want anything more than you can do, you can do that. But I leave that alone there. Percent male. If you want 
more variety. I would I wouldn't mess with that because it's set to fifty, which is half. Opposite sex adoption percent. This is if you, well, adoption. This percentage. This percent. This percentage. The percent chance that opposite sex will adopt a child other than have one through their pregnancy. I, I don't deal with that. I mean, it, here, it, it's, I mean, do what you want with this one. It, it's, it's fair game, for, uh, pardon the pun. Anyway, here's, here's the next one. Marriage sim selection. This is where I got a little confused because I was looking for where the names change, and that's in Tuner, by the way. A lot of home, homeless marriage. I wouldn't do that. Bypass dorm residents. I I would just as she would bypass plate households. I would do that. Bypass robots, it's up to you. Active sim romances, days to run checks. This is how often you want these to to check. This is what I was looking for before. That actually, it's actually Tuesday, Saturday, and I actually clicked that Sunday. Because I was having trouble there. So with that being said. Let's check to see if that one. Did indeed. Yes it did. So we're. So we had that change. Apparently it doesn't need it. I thought it did, but it is what it is. Usually it does, but... Flag gender preferences. This is if you want. Random marriages for non-playable characters. I wouldn't do this because it's an NPC. I mean, that... That's... Taking yourself out of the game, to say the least, so... Marriage percentage... This shows how... Uh, what percent of each age group will be... will be married use gender preferences I would mess with that
Okay. So now we have... This is what I got that compu- that one confused with. MC Tuner. Change interaction behavior. Allow child baby care. I wouldn't do that. Allow emotional deaths. Again, I would not do that. Oh, it is enabled. This is the one I was looking for. Allow my turn of the bed. This one is one you that's enabled by default, but I would disable this one immediately because it's annoying. Jess agrees. It it, it it's just it's weird. I don't know why they even came up with it. Allow multiple BFFs. I think I'm going to enable that one. Uh, allow team move in. This is when someone dies, and they'll run to watch when a sim dies. Tom's mischief, a Tom's mean, a Tom's marriage. I wouldn't do all this. And by the way, you see the two orange cards. I don't know why they took so long to appear, but that's what I was talking about. A lot of emotional deaths. Having multiple BFFs, those require a restart, so... They will not take effect until next time I look, until I log in. MC Tuner, and that's right, and MC Woohoo. I never even do all these. These are just pregnancy, they're same-sex right for baby, a lot of family, that's... Allow teens disabled.
Same sex track for baby. I love polygamy. I did this once, but no strings woohoo, I don't really get that at all. A lot of track for baby. That's enabled by default. Elder track for baby, that sound they shouldn't really they're with the age group, that's really risking it if you want to do that. So that's all the all you can do in the computer. Now let's go to the sim. Modify house, household and cast. That's self-explanatory. Sim commands. This is, you can set their age, maintain them, teleport commands, child adoption, Logging commands MC CAS Manage traits Set favorite drink Set physique, set sim voice, set walk style See cheats increase funds, cheat sim info, occult cheats increase points. That's if you want like uh, retail value, like if you're in a retail store or, or follower, if you want fame. Complete aspiration goal. That kind of takes the fun out of the game. MC Cass. Randomized appearance by template. MC Cleaner again. Move inventory. I have no idea. Sell it inventory or sell sim inventory. That's all that is. MC dresser. Copy paste. I had to do this once because I had a because I had a sim that I wanted their exact same Th their exact same appearance and I wanted to copy it because I thought I'd lost her and if that happens to you that's where to go for this change outfit that's if you want to change outfit without going to a, a dresser go for it include items exclude items sounds pretty uh, self-explanatory randomized part I really don't like the randomization. Custom definitions, randomized clothing. I don't like to randomize that, so that's all that is. And that is MC Dresser. Chain. Oh, that that was Dresser. Sim flags. Oops.
MC Tuner. This is on their flat trade autonomous hand. I haven't got no clue what that is. That, that's better on the computer. Some flags. That's if you want to flag, like for cast, dresser, pregnancy, tuner, any of those. Flag, act, flag active sims. That. That's again if you want to, if you do want to find them, that's where you go, but if you want to clear them, you go down to clear active flags and that does that job. And relationships. If you want to add a relationship or delete a relationship and say a relationship level so they, like if you want to wed somebody right away, this is where you go. I've, this is probably the one I've been to the most frequently. Among the most frequent, if not the most frequent. MC Tuner. Oh, oh, that's right. I already had that. Let's go back in here. So that's all. That's how that is. And the third. MC Command Center is the mailbox. Let's find the mailbox and I'll get that and I'll get that. Here's MC cheats, like active household cheats. You fill in the needs for a household or the current lot. Change lot details, change world time, deletion cheats, like you can delete these people. Or delete season sheets, change changing seasons, you can summon a sim, hide households, that that's the way that is and thanks for watching that's, that's the that is the uh, that is MC Command Center thanks for watching